I started in the fire service in 1984. I was hired part-time by Painesville Township Fire Department. A handful of us got hired full-time. We were the original full-timers in 1990. Fred hired a bunch of us when we were 18. I guess what I would say about Fred is he taught us how to take care of the community and how to be good firefighters. I was uh, chief of Grand River right over across the Grand River from here. We had 20 uh, working house fires all at the same time. Um, we utilized the, the mutual aid box alarm system, uh, went to five alarms. Um, no injuries to any firefighters, no injuries to any residents. I came here in 2018. Bob is just one of those inspirational type leaders. He empowers his men to be, well men and women, to be the best firefighters, EMTs that, that they can be. He's an excellent chief, an excellent friend, an excellent co-worker. He works well with all of our departments and we're lucky to have him as part of the Village of Fairport Harbor. We instituted a program here in Fairport Harbor. We're small, but we have our own school district and it's the school district, the police, and the fire department, we work together. It's a, a program called Handle with Care. When um, a child has, a, it's called an adverse childhood experience, whether there's a fire at their house, a, an emergency medical call, uh, the police or someone at their house, maybe a domestic, nobody really factors in the kids. We, we do. We were at the house with the, the rescue squad for their grandmother. That's terrifying for a young child. So. The kid goes to school the next day, maybe is never in trouble, but the kid acts up. Now they kind of have a reason. The school doesn't know why we were there. We send an email to just a generic account that just says, um, Joey had an encounter with Fairport Police and Fire yesterday. To be honest, I didn't think we were gonna use it that much. Uh, within the first month, we had nine Handle With Cares that we sent out to our schools. Since it's a small district, we can um, embed ourselves in the school. We have um, lunch with the, the grade school kids. We get involved with career day, homecoming, we do a mock crash. We want the kids in the schools to see that, that, the, that the fire department's here for them. Bob has got the teaching credentials, right? So the one thing with the fire department of our size is that we don't have a large staff. So they get trained up in many different facets of the firefighting services that a lot of firefighters don't, don't, don't get. It's a point of pride here in the village really that I believe we trained some of the best firefighters in Lake County because a lot of them will end up leaving our small village to go work for the bigger departments. Um, Bob understands that, he embraces it, and it's part of the training pro the process here. But yeah, you won't find a more beloved department than a fire department in any community, and we're certainly no different. My dad was a fireman, so, you know, I'm, I was used to it. Sometimes you didn't have Christmas on Christmas, you had it on Christmas Eve. Or we'd have Christmas at the fire station. Uh, my oldest daughter, Sarah, she was a dispatcher for 17 years. My youngest daughter is a nurse. Uh, my son-in-law is a fireman. Uh, my wife's a nurse. And uh, my son coaches at a college level. We've all done public service, I guess is the best way to put it. Bob is a tremendous guy, and we are so excited that he is receiving this award. He truly deserves it.